and I don't think we've got much time for Q&A, but I'll ask one question, which I get asked a lot. And obviously in this region, Zoho is actually quite popular. So what would you say the differences are between Pipedrive and Zoho? For someone who doesn't, who's never used a CRM or for someone who's using a CRM, how, how does it compare? Yeah. So I think the main difference between Pipedrive and Zoho is the customization part of it. I believe that Pipedrive can really be customized to, to specific industries and specific client needs, whether you're a company in the real estate agency, in accounting, let's say pharmaceutical, it doesn't matter. You can also customize it for all kinds of different industries and also the, the third party integrations. So we have a, a marketplace with a wide variety of different third party solution that has a very seamless integration with our tool. And also we have a very strong API documentation. So in case we don't have that third party integration already created in our marketplace, it's very easy to do with our API documentation. So I believe those two topics are very important, the customization and also integration with third party tools. We, we use, whenever there isn't a native integration, we use Zapier. Yeah, exactly. For example, we have MailChimp as our email marketing kind of tool. So we integrate Pipedrive with MailChimp. Every time a new email is added to Pipedrive, for example, we'll have some sort of Zapier going through as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so basically it's, we see a lot of Zapier, we see a lot of Make, which used to be Integromat. So for example, we internally at Pipedrive use a lot of Slack. So we integrate Slack and Pipedrive via Zapier. So for example, when a deal is updated from a stage and I need, let's say my manager's approval, that will send him a Slack message when it's on that stage so that he approves, let's say, for a discount request, whatever it is. And then once it's approved, it moves the opportunity. I think the automations part is really cool. And I really hope we can schedule maybe a, a new webinar in the future and to really go deep down on automations and how you can really configure this and the value they add to your sales funnel as well.